Disasters from the Connecticut Post. Ridgefield Democrats hosted Governor Ned the Head Lamont and Lieutenant Governor Susan Bicewitz during their annual fundraising event, Pie and Politics, on Sunday. Pie, huh? Well, can we have pie, pie? Secretary of State uh, Denise Merrill, State Attorney General William Tong, State Treasurer uh, Sean Wooden, State Representative Ken Gucker, and the list goes on. Ridgefield First Selectman Rudy Marconi also attended the event with more than 150 Ridgefield residents. Lamont, Bicewitz, Merrill, Tong, Wooden, and Gucker praised Marconi for his energetic and innovative leadership that has resulted in Ridgefield being voted as Connecticut's best and safest town over the years. That, of course, as long as you're not playing baseball where your feet will be ablaze, you know? You can't leave that alone. No, I cannot. Marconi highlighted Ridgefield's schools, public facilities, and open space in his opening remarks. I'm sure he left out, you know... Baseball fields that are just in fuego. It happened uh, once, you know, and it's it's over. And, and no, it's never over never because over. the cover up okay. exists. All right. You know, Connecticut loves cover ups. We're mm-hmm. okay covering things up, just leaving them there. All right. The rest of the world is trying to get to true transparency, and yeah, Connecticut yeah. is going backwards. We got Dudley Town hiding, Cornwall hiding whatever the hell they want, Ridgefield hides whatever it wants. What, fires? Ghosts? Nah, none of it's happening. Let's have punch and pa. <laughs> Where's pa. Ned the head Lamont? Yeah. Where's the bad idea machine? Let's invite him to Ridgefield and have some pa. <laughs> what kind of pa? We're going to have punch and pa. Punch gonna, and pa. We're going to have boysenberry. All we're right, going to have enough. raspberry. Blueberry. All right. Fantastic. Dingleberry. Okay. Plenty pa. There's no such thing as dingleberry. I, I'm just furious. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Hey, let's all get together. Punch and pie, and we'll dress up and Let me ask you a question. stand by somebody's pool Let and talk about our terrible ideas. Let me ask you a question. If you had a chance to meet, I'm seriously, the governor, uh-huh. what would you say to him first off? Where do I start? I what don't would know. You, would you go, I mean, seriously, would you go, hey, Ned the head, Lamont. Needle nose Ned, right? Would you yeah. say that to his face? Probably. Yeah, I, I don't, don't think I you really would. don't like him. I'd have to spend a lot of time organizing my thoughts yeah. and figure out where I'm going to start with these right. terrible ideas. You know what we should do today? We should ask the Democratic candidate for mayor, Chris Sotero, what he thinks. I already asked him about him hiring the guy, what, what he thinks about him as in general. Yeah. Right. I don't know. But uh, we could ask him that. But here's a picture of them all standing in Ridgefield by somebody's pool. Right. What do they ha- where did they have it? I'd love to shove half of them in that pool. A lot of pools. <laughs> just, Is it somebody's house? Just footing. Is it somebody's house? Politicians into a pool. Is I don't know. Is it somebody's house? Don't know. Let's see. There's a lot of a pools. Caption for the pool. A lot of wealthy people. Caption for the pool. Just has a list of all the names. All right. All right. There you go. Okay, there. Cool. There's your alive and local. <laughs> when they were done, they ran down to the baseball field. They set it on fire. See, now stop with the fire on the baseball field. And they cackled like madmen. Ha ha ha! We can keep all the secrets we want! Ethan and It's Lou. Connecticut!